Hey guys, it is me, Hypostaric, and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So today we're going to be doing something different, something that I haven't done in a really, really long time, which is going to Sector 7, the crater, whatever you want to call it. This is basically the multiplayer part of Last Day on Earth Survival. So in the down right corner, there's this icon. Just click on it and you'll be able to transfer yourself to that Sector 7. That is if you've already completed and opened up the Sector 7. I don't really know on which level, but you can unlock the Sector 7 after you reach a certain level. But you don't have to be a big level or whatever it's pretty easy to get here so check this out we are now located in this crater and inside of the crater you can do here some sort of a tournament and i haven't done this tournament for i don't know maybe a year it's seriously been such a long time since, I, since i've done a tournament so i'm very excited to go there and do that tournament because it's been a really long time i don't really like crater that much but doing tournaments it always been kind of fun so i'm excited to do it once again but before we do this let's get back to the base and let's do a couple of raids and then we'll go there and we'll do a couple of those tournaments. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps that you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker, like doing raids, doing that tournament inside of the crater, or maybe even opening up a few crates, depending on which crates will open up there. So all of that stuff is going to be in the pinned comments timestamps. And if you're watching this live stream live, then a welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're having a great uh, Saturday because I'm almost 100% certain that it's Saturday. Yes, indeed. It is actually Saturday. Say so welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. Once again, glad to see you all over here. And as I said, we are going to be visiting the crater. Haven't been there in a really long time. I just thought that why not pay a visit again, right? I'm kind of excited for the tournament. Again, when you do those tournaments once a year, they're not that bad. So I'm kind of interested to see how those tournaments are going to go and how fast we can even get a tournament because... Uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago we had to wait five minutes, maybe ten minutes before that tournament even begins. When those tournaments came out, you had to wait like maybe ten seconds and then boom, tournaments would appear. Now it takes more and more time. Wouldn't be surprised that we, ha that we have to wait for maybe ten minutes, maybe longer to get that tournament, but we'll see. Don't go there, it's stinky in there, says Brendan. Eh. Time to time you need to get stinky, you need to get dirty, you know what I mean? So we gotta go there, we gotta check it out. We'll go to the stinky place of last day on Earth survival, everybody. Are you excited about it? Get the gas masks <laughs> and we will all go to that stinky place. All right, let's get a little bit of canned food. Um, perhaps we'll get another broken Glock here. So for those who do not know, currently we are just getting ready for a raid because I have a revenge raid uh, prepared outside. I still haven't done any... Uh, any research on it. All right, let's get some first aid kits. And then let's get that all. Do you have some tips for new players? Yes, make sure to check out my free to play playlist there. I share lots of and lots of tips and tricks. Link is gonna be down in the description or you can also scroll lower in the description. Uh, there's going to be a frequently asked questions section about last day on earth and there I explain everything as well. I answer the most commonly asked questions. But yeah, I highly suggest you checking out the free-to-play playlist. So that is pretty much it. We are done. We are ready to go for the first raid of the day. I think we'll do a couple of raids and then we'll go to that Sector 7. We gotta get ready for that Sector 7. It's not gonna be that easy to go there. So no horror games for Spooktober. There will be horror games. I am planning to play... Uh, Resident Evil to Claire's part because I still haven't played as Claire there and I wanted to play one of the Resident Evil games for a long time now because we've beaten kind of all of them well besides the older Resident Evils but we've beaten all the new remakes etc etc so I'm excited to go and play Resident Evil to Claire's part we will definitely go there but before we do this we need to do a raid I don't know when we'll start it. Like, I, I think soon. Maybe in the next few days I'll even start that Let's Play. So, yeah, we're going to play it. LDOE Raid Danny013. Let's see if this base has anything good. I think this base is actually going to be decent. I'm not even kidding. It looks like a very decent base. It seriously looks like a decent base. 
I just need to know how to enter it just so that I don't make any mistakes. Right, I think I see how we're gonna enter it. All right, so we gotta enter it from here, from the front, boom, then we explode, and then there are a bunch of chests. Okay, let's hop for this base. I'm ready to go there. Will we ever play Roblox horror games? Uh, so there are a lot of things that I say on the channel today, guys. I'm not sure, maybe one day, but this is one of those things where I can say that I, I'll never probably play it. <laughs> That's one of those things that I can say for certain that, hey, probably that thing is never happening here. All right, let's get the C4 and let's explode the wall and let's do a nice right here. At least from the short research that I've done again, this might still be a bad raise and I just got bamboozled. A bad raid, I mean. But maybe it'll be a good raid. We'll check it out. Okay, so we got a decent amount of chests. I don't know which chest we should start opening up first. So I'll just... I'll think we'll be able to open up all of them. With the big one or without the big one. And after we get to 80 noise and if I still haven't gotten the good loot, I think I might do some more research to check out which chest I have to open up. Why not? There we go. Let's open up now the third chest. And the third chest had an electronic circuit. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go for the fourth chest. So we've already opened up four chests. Where's the good loot here? Where's the good stuff? Alright, we already got in some first aid kits. Not gonna say no to that. Let's get the first aid kits. I'm gonna also get the red ticket from the base. Which gun mod should I upgrade, upgrade first? says Uger, I have no idea. Depends on which mods you have. You should have upgraded the spreadsheet first, but sorry, I don't have the spreadsheet. Well, that answers your question. You need to upgrade mods to the, the ones that you have. Make sure to check out my mod guide. Just type uh, LDOE, Cyrek, mods, or there's a link somewhere at the bottom of the description that will lead to both of those videos. And check this out, we've got some guns. And yeah, basically in those videos, I explain which mods you should craft, which mods you shouldn't craft, because there are lots of mods in this game. And I don't remember all of them here like this. But all I can say is that assemble the grip mod for your M16. That's the good mod. And the rest, the rest you can see them in the video. Uh, all right, this chopper is absolutely empty. So let's drop some weapons inside of our chopper. Wait, I'm going to bring the silenced weapon with me. There goes. So this rate is already great. Like we've gotten a decent amount of guns. And if that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. Oh, there are even spike traps. I don't even have to wait for those zombies to attack me. So we're gonna die, but again, be careful doing this trick. Because sometimes the base can despawn, especially if you've lave, left it before. So you don't have to leave this base. You come here, inside of this base, and then you can die on a spike trap, and then you'll be able to go get back to that base. And then you'll be able to empty your chopper and go back to it. Because that's the whole reason why we are doing it. There we go. Now we can get eight extra items to put back inside of this chopper. Really nice base. Yes, indeed. It is a really nice base. Welcome to all those that have just joined, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Currently, we're doing a raid. Our first raid of the day. And later on, we will go to the crater. The, the Sector 7, whatever you want to call it. I'm kind of excited to go there, to be honest. Today, I woke up and it felt like going to the crater. So let's go to the crater. When you get the raiders. You get the raiders uh, on level 150. You need to be level 150. Also, we haven't been in the junkyard for a long time. Maybe we'll go there as well, but I don't know. What I do know is that let's get back to this Danny 13 base. Halloween event or Thanksgiving event coming in last day on Earth says Insomniac. I have no idea if we're getting anything. Uh, any Halloween events. We should probably get at least something. I think we haven't missed a single Halloween event yet. Developers always add some Halloween themed stuff, so I assume we'll get something. An event, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe this will be the first year when we get nothing. That can happen as well, wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, Sag's going to the crater. Yes, guys, we are going to the crater. Obviously, first of all, we'll do a couple of raids and then we'll hop there, but we are going to the crater. 
Uh, all right, we still have a few guns to take. Let's perhaps open this chest up and then let's drop some of the things back in the hour chopper. A little bit of gasoline, bunch of empty cans. Uh, what do we have here? A duct tape. Well, an entire stack of duct tape. Let's take it with us. Let's bring it back to our base. Are you gonna do PvP? I don't think I have the gear for the PvP. PvP in Sector 7 really sucks. It's 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 horrible. It's literally the worst part in the game. It is so bad. It is really bad. Like it's 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 embarrassingly bad. I'm not the developer of it, but I'm I'm embarrassed for it on how bad the PvP is. And on top of all of this and how bad the PvP is, it's also laggy. Like it's just crazy. But hey, we're not going to the PvP. I like the tournament there. I want to participate in the tournament because I think the tournaments there are kind of alright. It's like, did you check the Discord? There's something. Well, let's check Discord. Let's check the Discord news. Uh, what did the devs post? If they post anything. Oh, there's nothing there. They just posted like some sort of a skin backpack or whatever. It's not really interesting. <laughs> not worth uh, sharing. But yeah, they posted that yesterday. Nothing here. Let's get a katana at least. Yeah, well, we have a few more chests to open up. I think I should be able to open them up with the big one or without the big one. But hey, first of all, I'll soften all of these chests up. Uh, Legend says, I agree, in PvP you only throw your armor and weapons away. Yes, indeed. With all the people teaming there and everything, it's like it's impossible to go to PvP right now, especially now. Like, at, when PvP came out, at least you could kind of play there because kind of nobody knew what they're doing, so you, at least you had a chance. But now people that play their non-stop with their teammates, they've came up like with some whatever strategies, like whatever weapons, and you have no chance to do anything there. We got lots of food. Which again, I'm sounding to I'm, I'm I sound here like as if Sector 7 is very sophisticated. It has lots of strategies. Like it's 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 goop. Sector 7 is bad. Um, two first aid kits. Excuse me, how do I get more space for it? For more meat? Instead of these two first aid kits? There we go, let's get that. Yeah, whatever, let's go for it. I'm gonna open up now another chest. Here we got some thick cloth. PvP was fun at first. I totally agree. PvP was definitely fun at first. And I think PvP could have been so much bigger. Heal, heal, heal! Wait, I kind of don't want to die here. And everything is possible. I'm kind of scared to open up that one more chest. I will slow this guy down. I'll activate the sprinting skill. I'll go back to the top to open this up. And we got some more leather. There we go. That's it, guys. I've looted this entire base. So this base definitely gets axe approval. A nice, nice base that we raided here. And yeah, speaking again of that Sector 7, it was really great when it came out. I think it was fun. Mm, PvP was fun. And the reason why it was fun, I think we all knew that it was kind of broken, that it was kind of bad. It was frustrating, but we thought that, you know what, developers are going to work on it and they'll, and they'll improve it. So everybody tried to give it a try. People gave it a shot, maybe, and that's it. Then we've never gotten any new PvP updates. Like nothing. PvP came out and we've gotten zero new updates since PvP came out, which... That's not how it kind of works, especially with multiplayer stuff, right? In a lot of the games when multiplayer thing is going to come out, developer keep, developers keep constantly balancing it. And Last Day on Earth just came out with that multiplayer and zero balance changes for it. Like, since the day it came out, which is... It's just broken. See, so I'm sad that we've gotten no updates there. But whatever. What do I know? Maybe Sector 7 is the best. Maybe it's perfect as it is. Alright, let's drop some hatchets here. It's 
Psych, you should dress up as a zombie for last day on Earth stream for Halloween. Yes, says Eric Langster. Welcome to the stream. And first of all, I don't have a zombie costume. And second of all, I'm an adult. I'm a responsible adult. I'm not dressing up as a zombie. Or will I? Maybe I will dress up as a zombie. Nah, guys, I'm a responsible adult. I'd never do something silly like that. Uh, let's drop a canister. It would be fun, maybe. But yeah, as I said, I don't have any zombie things, zombie costumes, and I'll probably won't have them. Where will I get it? Psych, there's Amazon! Ch All right, so let's talk to the writers, but let's see what other tasks we need to do for them because that was a revenge raid. So that raid was really great. I saw some of you giving a an 8 out of 10 and I'd give it, I don't even know. Around the same rating, probably maybe 7 out of 10. Maybe 7 out of 10. All right, let's drop the weapons. It's like dress up as a zombie. I already look like I have zombie. To dress up as a zombie for Halloween, I'm not gonna sleep through the night and that's it. Then I'll look like a zombie. And I'll be like, hey guys, it is me, I'm sorry. And welcome to last on Earth survival. I'm cosplaying as a zombie, as a floater bloater. What is the most dead looking zombie in the game, guys? Like the most tired, the most dead looking zombie in Last Day on Earth Survival. I am that zombie. I just don't know which one is it. Roaming zombie. Roaming zombie looks the most dead. All right, I see lots of you saying that. Roaming zombie. All right, guys, I'm going to be a roaming zombie. I won't sleep for 24 hours and I'll be a roaming zombie. We have a deal. All right, let's try to call the raiders on the radio. And let's see what's up. I became a roaming zombie <laughs> for Halloween. Iron bars, common planks and leather. Dude, this guy's just robbing me. Iron planks, leather. Iron planks, leather. Iron planks and leather. Let's get a little bit of leather. Let's get planks and iron. And let's go for the first uh, dealer of the day. Probably first and last dealer of the day. We usually don't do two dealers. We usually do only one. Just a simple roaming zombie there, slow. Yeah, probably roaming zombies are the, the most dead looking ones. And they act dead, they act tired. And that'll be me. Frenzy Giant looks old AF, says Uncreator, maybe. But I think they have kind of some energy. Those Frenzy Giants uh, pack a punch. I'm still waiting for Kefir to make a Cyric NPC in the game, says so Shadow Duffer. <sighs> One day. What would Cyric NPC even do in this game? What would I be able to do in this game? Like, I'll be the dealer? Maybe the new dealer? I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Let's give him the leather the iron and some planks and let's open up this box and just as always guys let's play a game guess what's inside of this box and win absolutely nothing you'll be a boomer so shadow duffer yes i'll be the boomer in last day on earth i'm already a boomer 25 year old boomer all right let's sit on this bike let's get back to the base and yeah guys guess what we're gonna get inside of that box so the winner will get absolutely nothing that's the game guess what's in the box and win nothing 
guess and win absolutely nothing. What's the easiest way to get engine parts for someone who doesn't have many weapons? Bunker Alpha. If you don't have many weapons, then do Bunker Alpha. If you want to get engine parts, then clear Bunker Alpha. If you want to get guns, as I said, Bunker Alpha. If you don't know how to do Bunker Alpha, then check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is in the description. There I explain how to clear Bunker Alpha. There we go. 90% probably of your questions can be answered with, with uh, two magic words. Bunker Alpha. Now, I see a lot of you start guessing what we are going to get inside of this box. Myself, I'm going to say that probably it's a pipe. I keep saying the same thing because if I keep sticking to the pipe, one day we'll get it. And it's a katana this time. Katana, we have... Oh, well, we have a decent amount of people that have guessed that it's a katana. So, legend, uh, legend must be Wilden, uh, Shadow Duffer. Uh, Gagak, Riemann, Christina, uh, Uncreator, uh, who else is there? I think that's it, those were the people that have guessed it, so uh, congratulations to those that have guessed it. it's a katana. Congrats on winning absolutely nothing. Congrats, congrats. For those who didn't win, hey, hopefully you'll get lucky next time. You'll be more lucky next time. If I missed your name or something, I apologize, but I don't think I missed anybody's name. Unless you made a typo or something. And if you made a typo, then it is what it is. Okay, leather goes there with nothing and planks and iron go to the warehouse. So let's go there. Second so PC will convert 100 green tickets for one yellow ticket, says Gaga Monk. Wow. Wow. That actually would be useless. I wouldn't suggest doing that to anybody. Like, even 10 green for one yellow... I mean, seems kind of wasteful, isn't it? 300 green... For 30 yellow, that'd be a lot of green things. All right, whatever. Let's drop the katana and let's talk to the raiders and let's see what other tasks we have to do. Mm, let's skip this. So the only two tasks that are left for us to open up a blue card and to craft a hatchet. So let's try to get that hatchet and the blue crate. I don't think I can even open it up because we don't have enough green cards. I mean, unless I get all of these things and I... Exchange them. Let's go for it. I'll use up all of my green. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's open up a blue card. It's like I think someone stole my nothing from my porch. I don't see it, says Ladybug. Welcome to the stream. And as I said, be very careful with those gifts. Uh, as I said, if I was your neighbor, I would probably steal that nothing gift as well. So... I don't blame the neighbors for stealing it because I do the same and you do the same. If your neighbor would get a nothing gift, you would steal it. You can't resist. After a long time, Sag didn't have any blue cards. Stupid purple crate opening. Yesterday I've used up all of the blue cards and green cards for the purple crate opening. So we almost have no cards left. You need to do 99 waves soon to replenish those cards. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Except once we do those 99 waves, I just exchange all of them for purple and we're back to square one. Okay, let's exchange this. This. There we go. I'll just open up one below. We don't need that green card here. Let's get both of these shotguns, the muzzle brake. And the new set of armor. There we go. Let's bring that stuff back to the base and let's go. No purple opening after. Maybe, or maybe I'll just keep one purple. I'll just open up one purple and the rest will... will go back to the base. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe next time I'll just open up one purple. There we go. That sounds like a strategy. Alright, let's get back to the base. Let's drop the precious loot and let's go for the raid number two. What are you doing now? We're getting back to the base and we're getting for the raid. That's what we are doing.
All right, let's see what we have here. We got two more rewards, a landmine and 10 first aid kits. Let's take it. Let's get the free loot. Let's go for the second uh, raid for the day. Strategy, tragedy, says Shadow Duffer. Yes. Strategy and tragedy. As I said, I've been practicing those two words in front of the mirror for... for months now. My tongue cannot twist on strategy, tragedy. Impossible. Physically impossible. Um, let's drop those here. Let's drop the caps. There's that. Also, I forgot to drop the green card. Let's drop the green card here as well. And this and a thing here. And we also need to craft a few hatchets, so let's get nails. Let's get some duct tape. Wait, have I cleaned the chopper? Have I cleared it? I mean, is it empty? Have I emptied the chopper? Should I say yes, the chopper is empty. Where's the new location? You can go there. There is no new location. The title doesn't say that there is a new location. The title says that I haven't been there for a long time in a location, and that location is Sector 7. We are going to Sector 7 today. We'll pay a visit in Sector oh 7. Yo, David Wiggle, welcome, welcome. Oh David Wiggle, thanks for being member for 11 months. Thank you, mate, for everything. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hello, hello, amigo. Happy psych. Welcome, amigo. Uh, David, welcome, welcome. Hello, amigo. Que pasa, amigo? Let's craft five iron hatchets. Let's get it. And let's go, amigos, for the raid number two of the day. Do you still get French lessons, Sire? Says Shadow Duffer. I never got any French lessons. The only French lessons I get are from Duolingo. And yes, those lessons still continue. I still continue doing Duolingo every single day. Uh, let's get the one more Glock. There we go, and let's go, guys. I think I'm ready. We just need to craft some level one hatchets as well. Oh yeah, we also need to get a little bit of wood. So let's get a little bit of wood. There we go, there's that. And let's craft five hatchets. Three, Four and five. Any new events, leaks, or something? Sadly, no. We got no new leaks. Well, recently developers shared some sort of a picture of uh, of a new backpack skin, but I'll show it. I'll show it. I thought maybe it's not really that important, but I, it's the only leak that we've gotten, and you know what? I'm going to show it regardless. It is what it is. If you haven't seen it, they usually post all of that stuff on all of their social media. There we go. Boom. All right, so the sneak peek is going to appear on your screen very soon. Very soon. I just don't want to remove the old sneak peeks because we still have some other sneak peeks here, other workbenches that are coming to the game. Uh, this thing, all right, we can remove this one. Because I don't think we need it. I'm loving your Yo, David. videos. Thank you for the awesome content, Amigo. <laughs> Amigo, thanks, David. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream uh, once again, David. 
Thanks for everything. I'm glad that you're enjoying Grounded. Thank you for watching Grounded videos. Thank you for the support. Thanks for everything. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I am loving Grounded as well. Oh my goodness, it doesn't work now. So yeah, I'm loving Grounded as well. It is, as I said, my probably favorite survival game of 2022. Like, probably easy top maybe three or maybe top five survival games I've ever played. I don't even know how would that list go, but it's it's easy one of the best survival games I've played. It's definitely up there. Like, very fun. So yeah, these are the new sneak peeks that we've gotten from the, from the devs. Basically, a picnic table and an avocado poof. I don't even know how would you call that, but... It's an avocado thing. Oh my god, take! I love avocado toasts! I can't wait to sit on it! I don't think you'll be able to sit on it. It'll be just a decoration, ladies and gentlemen. So hey, that's the... that's the sneak peek. Is that an avocado? New fruit is coming to the game, but Cyric, avocado is not the fruit! Guys, is there anything I can say without being criticized? Avocado isn't a fruit, it's a berry. Everybody knows it. Alright, I think we are ready to go for the raid. So yeah, David, thanks once again for everything. Thanks for everything, amigo. Welcome, welcome. And there will be more uh, grounded. Definitely there will be more grounded. For sure. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Isn't it a nut? What? Avocado is a nut? Wait a second. What is an avocado? What is Google gonna tell me? The avocado is a medium-sized evergreen tree in the Laurel family. What is the thing? It's a fruit! It's actually a fruit! Avocado was a fruit! And you guys told me that it's not a fruit! An avocado is a bright green fruit with a large pit and dark leathery skin. It is a fruit. Isn't avocado a nut? Since avocado is classif classified as a fruit and not a tree nut, you should be able to eat avocados even if you have a nut allergy. However, some studies have shown that avocados have similar proteins as chestnuts. So if you're allergic to chestnuts, you may have to avoid avocados. That's again, guys, what I've read on Google. It's not what I came up with myself. So you know what? Avocado is half nut, let's say. Is half nut, half fruit. Let's call it like this. LDE raid player 5595. That's why these live streams are so awesome. It's not only about um, the gameplay. It's also about learning new things. And you've learned here some more stuff about avocados today. Avocados are amazingly delish, says Ladybug. <laughs> the only time I've eaten an avocado in my entire life is when I try to blend it. I don't know, maybe about two years ago or something, I got, got a blender. At that time I was working out, I was making protein shakes. I wanted to get a nice protein shake to bulk, to gain more weight. And I was experimenting with shakes, so I thought, you know what, I'll get a get an avocado, I'll blend it. And they made the most disgusting avocado smoothie you can imagine. Like it was, it was just disgusting. Avocado with milk. I don't even know what else I've put there. Maybe strawberries. Like it, it was just disgusting. And I still drank it. And I still remember that taste in my mouth till this day. And it's been like probably two years ago. So yeah, I'm not eating avocados anymore. But they have a nice texture. They have a satisfying texture kind of unique thing going there. All right, let's use the C4. And there we go. This is a base, ladies and gentlemen. That we are about to raid. That's what it looks like. We'll explode a few chests here and there. It's a knowledge sharing channel of Happy Sirek and Francis Trifold. Yes, indeed. Lots of knowledge here. <laughs> Lots of knowledge. All right, so let's open up the first chest here. I probably haven't even opened up that chest that has exploded from the C4. So we'll 
We'll check on that. Let's get another one of those. There were guys, uh, two raw turkeys. I know, I saw them. I saw those two raw turkeys, but I'm not taking that stuff yet. What is the most forgotten location? Crater says little virus. Yes, we are going to the crater today. That is the most forgotten location, and we are going there today. Definitely. What we got here? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Let's open this chest up. And we got, again, more nothing. I love getting nothing from raids. It's like, what's the emulator you're playing on? I'm playing on Mimo emulator. Alright, let's get this. Uh, let's get a little bit of leather. Um, nothing useful. Excuse me. I think I'm getting bamboozled in this raid. More garbage. Then we'll need to chop this tree down to open up those other chests. It's like you should apply for a job at Kefir and fix this game, says Skelly Boney. Why do you think I would be able to fix this game? As I said many times already, I think developers know more what they're doing. And if somebody once said, oh my god, haha, Sykes said the developers know what they're doing. Again, it maybe feels like they're killing the game sometimes. Maybe it feels like some of the decisions are weird. And I totally agree with that, but... I think the decisions that they're making... They're making them for a reason. Maybe not for a better game. I'm not saying that they know how to make a better game. But as a company... To make more money and whatever, I think they know what they're doing better than me. Not all of their decision probably make the game for the b Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die! I didn't expect this big one appear here so soon! And there's still a bunch of chests that I haven't opened up! And I'm stuck right now, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm stuck here. Gotta close this, I have no idea. Oof. <sighs> Almost died. Almost died, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back in the game. <laughs> Oof. I don't even know what we were talking about there. In any case, doesn't matter. Let's get back to the game. Uh, let's open it up. For some reason, it didn't work. There we go. Let's reload the emulator. Yikes. Yikes. Total yikes. Alright guys, let's get back in the game now. Because of Kefir as company. Yes indeed, that's what we died, because of the company. Of course. Happy Sark is not happy today, says Staff Fire Gaming. Even here, I... Whatever. Very sad, guys. Can't open the entire base. They're super sad. Like, mm. I don't know how I'll be able to emotionally recover from this base. There's still a few more chests to open up. And I mean, we can probably risk it. It's not like I got anything to lose. So let's get... Let's go here. Let's get a reanimator. And let's hop back here. You probably could have smashed the furniture to get away. Maybe we could have done that. I didn't think of it. At that moment, I panicked and I didn't know what to do. At that time, I didn't know what to do. Alright, let's get this guy. Um, let's go back here. We only have a few more chests to open up. Alright, one more hatchet. Oh no, we have lots of chests to open up. Heal, smack! Well, let's see. We gotta skedaddle from this base, guys. I'll die. I'll die. I already used the reanimator. 
Let's see, there are a bunch of chests, I couldn't open them up. And probably there is nothing inside of that base anyways. Like, what are we gonna get there? Hmm? What are we gonna get there? Maybe I'll go do a little bit of uh, research on it. Just to see if this base has anything. Because chances are it might have nothing. I don't think it'll have anything. I'm looking at the videos. All you can get here is just some planks, some crowbars, and that's it. I don't think we would have gotten anything useful anyway, so hey. This base does not get Sykes approval. Pretty goopy base. Leave. Yeah, we're just leaving that base. Yeah, definitely. Cyric, are you lazy to play outdoor games? What? Streaming outdoor games. That's a genius idea. But like, I didn't say that. Why don't you play with cars in the sandbox, Cyric? Um, that's a good question. Maybe I should play with cars in the sandbox. I would actually like to play with cars in the sandbox. Let's get rid of a stack of duct tape here. Let's drop that here. The nails. Oops. Actually, those three pieces of wood will be perfect. We chopped down that tree from the base, probably. And I'll be able to pay with those pieces of trees. Yes, indeed. There we go. Let's craft the spear. Let's give them that spear. And there we go. Let's call them once again here on the radio. There we go. This will be raid number three. And maybe raid number three will go to the crater to check it out. We'll do one tournament there. Psych, I really need your help since I won in one of the community events in Discord and took Act 1 Premium as a reward. So the ISP won't appear for me. Do I start a new account or what is your opinion, please? Matthew Spellman, for a second I thought actually something happened there and I was like, okay was the answer. Even though as soon as I saw this, I can really need your help since I won one of the community. As soon as I saw this, I was like, just go on Discord and ask it. That was my my answer. But then I realized that you're just trolling. Because somebody asked that question already a few days ago. Very nice question. <laughs> Very epic question. Welcome to the stream, Matthew. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Mika Pika, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So we gotta open up the blue box at the farm. Let's do it. Let's go to the farm location. LSP means legendary survivor pack, by the way. Oh, thanks for letting me know, Gaga Cream. I'm so stupid. Like, seriously, dumb. Uh, how do I... Very dumb. Very stupid me. Like, seriously, only a dumbass wouldn't know that LSP means legendary survivor pack. Like, like, seriously. Like, you have to be dented in the head to not know that. LSP, it's legendary survivor pack. It's it's common knowledge. You learned that at, at the age of four. How can you not know that it's LSP? If you didn't know what LSP stands for, you might as well just delete the game. Like I, I I'm I'm not even kidding. Like sometimes I'm joking. Like I'm sometimes I'm being sarcasm, but this time I'm no sarcasm. I am serious. No sarcasm. Delete the game if you don't know what LSP means. That it was legendary survivors back. Uh, Bob Pro says, I didn't know that, lol. There's nothing funny about it. Like, do I look like I'm joking here? I mean, do I look like I'm joking here? Zero smile on the face here right now. Zero jokes. You should know what LSP stands for. It is legendary survivors back. And there's that one boomer in the bag. But psych, I don't know what is legendary survivors back. Cool. Do I have to explain here what's going on? For those who didn't understand, I'm obviously joking. Because some people come to me and they will use uh, abbreviations like LSP. 
And it's gonna stand for something stupid like Legendary Survivor's Pack. How on earth are you supposed to know that? Speaking of stupid things, I just crafted accidentally spears for... For another raid, which I shouldn't be crafting right now. So yeah. But hey, thanks for letting me know, Gagak. I would never know that LSP means Legendary Survivor Pack. I think people on Discord know this. But only people on Discord know, like only five, six people know that and nobody else is gonna know this. So yeah, that thing wasn't addressed to you, Gaga Kremang. I'm just saying to that guy that used LSP. But I'm pretty certain you got the point. So right, let's get the spread shots. It's like, have you had DDK? What is DDK? I'm kind of scared to ask that, but what is DDK? Or like CCF, sorry. Go clear CCF, Crooked Creek Farm. <laughs> CCF, Crooked Creek Farm, sorry, go clear it. All right. We need to get an Uzi for the farm location event because look at this in the calendar. There's this Crooked Creek Farm event. Excuse me, the CCF. And we'll we'll go for it. Uzi, all right, let's find an Uzi then. Oh, uh, where is the Uzi? <laughs> Sykes so dumb doesn't know what LSP stands for. I knew it because the dude posted it on Discord after he posted it here last stream. So Gaga Kriman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I said, probably only people on Discord know that. Or only that guy knows that he came out with his own abbrevi abbreviation. Some people do that. Sometimes they'll come here on the stream and they'll say like, Hey, Sike, do you play like this game? It's like, do you play XBD? And what on earth is XBD? Like, how am I supposed to know all of these abbreviations? Only, the only abbreviation that I know is LDOE, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And let's get perhaps a new tactical armor and let's kidaddle. And let's get right into the CCF. There we go, let's get that, let's roll. Can I see your gaming system? <laughs> what, what there is to see? You can check out my setup tour. Just type psych setup tour. And I'm pretty certain I've made a video on it as a 100k special. And Thomas uh, Hanslander. Hans. Hanselander. Sorry that I butchered the name. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to Shim. Hi, Psych. When will you continue Scum series? Miss it. Uh, soon. As soon as 0 0.8 update comes out, I'll definitely play it. I'm just currently waiting for more content there. Because recently I started... Well, recently. The most recent thing that we've done in Scum Survival was the... Like, those hardcore series that I've done. And I thought, like, those were the best series that I've done. Like, I think they were pretty entertaining. We've done something that I haven't done before and they didn't perform that well. I don't think people liked them that well. So, I kind of... It's kind of pointless to continue them. So I'm kind of waiting to start new series once 0 0.8 update comes out. So hopefully that makes sense. As soon as 0 0.8 update comes out, I'll definitely continue the game. I miss Scum Survival. I want to play it. But yeah, I'm just waiting for a new update right now. Because I don't really want to start new series right now. Because if the new update comes out, then I'll have to end the series. Like, let's say the new update comes out in two weeks from now. But then in two weeks, I'll have to start new series again. So I don't want to kill off series without like doing at least 10 episodes or something and I don't know if I can I don't know when the new update is gonna come out so I don't know if I'll be able to make 10 episodes before the new update comes out because I don't know when it's gonna come out so I'm waiting for the new update does it make sense hopefully that makes sense a blue box here nope no blue box there Go to C CCF, kill some SG and IB and RY. Yes, indeed. Let's deal with some RY here right now. Some RYs. Alright, there's the SG, guys. Let's deal with the SG.
It's like, do you know when they will release God of War on Xbox? Wanted to buy it for, for my husband for his birthday. He is so hard to shop for, says Ladybug. I mean, I have no idea. I can only go on Google and check it out. God of War Ragnarok X. Oh, it's not coming out on Xbox. I don't even need to Google this. It's not coming out on Xbox. It's a PS5 exclusive. It took me a while to realize what's the question. Like, I was thinking about SGs and what other jokes to come up there. And as soon as I saw God of Ragnarok, it's not coming out on Xbox. It is a PS5 exclusive. I don't even need to Google this. But, yeah. Sorry for being so slow. I just, I didn't understand the question even. I didn't even, didn't even trigger me God of War Ragnarok. I was just like, okay, a game name. But, yeah. I'm like 99% certain it's not coming out on Xbox. It's not coming out on PC either. So hopefully that answers the question. Oh yeah, let's also use the 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 Uzi. Uzi, use it. Yes, need. Let's use the Uzi to get some points here for this event. I've absolutely forgotten that. Okay, the blue box isn't here either. Oh, okay, at least we've gotten some spread shots. Where's the flipping BB? I have no idea where's the BB. We'll get it soon, though. Hopefully. The BB can be in a few other spots. It's like, what is BB? It's a blue box, you silly. BB stands for blue box. Everybody knows this. Now we're dealing with the R. It's literally easier to just call him uh, Revenger and that's it. Than calling him R. Let's deal with the Revenger. It ain't my fault that I say Cyriac because of the autocorrect. If you're gonna keep typing Cyric instead of what autocorrect tells you, it'll autocorrect will probably learn that. I think. Let's get the Revenger. And boom. Got him, ladies and gentlemen. We destroyed the Revenger. PS5 exclusive. Yes, it is a PS5 exclusive. Uh, hey, Sarek, is the purple machete mod the last mod you need? Yes, that's the last mod I need. I need only one more mod. I hope you have... PMM mod. PMM mod. Yeah, hopefully I'll get that PMM mod as well. Like, what is PMM? It's purple machete mod. It's a purple machete mod. Silly bye-bye says laugh, please. <laughs> That's a good laugh. I almost died from laughing. So yeah, Blueberry, or no, that, that wasn't Blueberry. That was silly, bye-bye. I did laugh, as she told me. Hopefully that was a good laugh. Smash like, smash subscribe for more epic laughs like this. Thank you, says silly, bye-bye. You're welcome. You are welcome. Absolutely welcome. That's what we do here. We laugh spontaneously for no reason. Spontaneous laughs. Laughters. It's like, do you like dragon fruits? Uh, I'm more of a dinosaur fruit myself, but dragon fruit is kind of alright. It's bussin'. Alright, I'll leave the blue box here for now. Kill three bulls. We don't need to kill three bulls. We need to only open up a blue box here. We need to open up the, bee the BB. No need to open up the blue box, just the BB. And I need to use the stupid Uzi. I just don't want to use it. I don't mind wasting blocks here, but using an Uzi here feels like I might be saving it for something else. Like Bunker Bravo, or should I say... 
B B. I didn't mean to fight the infected bull. God dingus. Oh, we need to kill three infected bulls for this event. Okay, cool. I get it now. Let's go for it. Let's deal with the bulls. Got him. That was the best laugh. You should always laugh like that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. We have to kill the bulls for the event site. Yes, we just I just got them. Yes, indeed, we just destroyed those bulls. Let's drop the box here. Let's open it up and let's get our blueprints. Let's get our blueprints, ladies and gents. I'll get a spreadsheet even. This armor will disappear any moment. As I said, it's gone. My armor is gone. I'll deal with a few of those savage giants just so that I can get more points towards my season pass. One more savage giant. And we have another armor. Let's equip it. I For a second, I've forgotten about it. Everyone pray, pray for Sayak PMM. Yes, indeed. Hopefully, I'll get the PMM here. We'll see. But as I said, as soon as I get that purple machete blueprint, there's nothing I need to grind for. We'll have everything in the game. So, do I really want it? Yeah. Nothing's really gonna change that purple machete blueprint. I'll have it. It's not like I use lots of machetes anyway, so. But it would be nice to get it. I want it. So let's get it. <laughs> uh. Steel handle. Pretty bad. Let's get the bandages, the copper bars, canned food, the AK. And the shovel, we don't really need to bring that shovel back to the base. I think we already have a decent amount of shovels. Let's get the valuable diaries. Another quick tip and trick here, guys. If you go to the healer, sometimes he's gonna give you like 100% experience buff. Get that buff, like watch the ad, get the buff, and uh, you'll be able to read those valuable survivor diaries and get double the experience. You're welcome. Let's get this, the gasoline. It's like, what are you looking at the, the, the chat? Why are you not saying anything out loud? Because I'm trying to read the message and I'm trying to decode it, but I still don't understand it. Sayak, do you ram Kefir adding an LDOE where you could open the barn with two crowbars or one? And now I get it. The guy said, remember. It's like, do you remember Kefir, Kefir adding a last on earth where you could open the barn with uh, two crowbars or one? That was never the case. We could never open it up. There go, just decoded that message. We could never open up barns with one or two crowbars. And how do I know this? Because I played in the farm location as soon as it came out. I remember it came out in the night, my time. I think it was like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. And I went to live stream it. I was streaming at 2 a.m. So I remember that. It's like, do you have the purple engine mod with the active skill on the saw maze? Yes. Yes, indeed. We've gotten it quite recently. That was like maybe one of the more... Uh, one of the latest mods that we've gotten. But, yeah. Alright, this book doesn't fit. Let's 
Let's drop the books here. Let's drop the diary. Survivor's diary. What would it even say in that survivor's diary? Like, I honestly don't know how to make an axe. Maybe a good axe. But everybody knows, two sticks, three stones, and you get a pickaxe. I played Minecraft. Speaking of Minecraft, I want to play some more Minecraft, like, or maybe at least make a video on it, maybe short series, but with some mods on it. With some mods. Like, mods that remove cubes from Minecraft. Like, the entire game will look kind of smooth-ish. Maybe that'll be fun. But we'll see. Are you gonna start newbie series again? Maybe next year, but I can't promise anything. What I can promise is that we're gonna name this Doggo Gooper. There we go. I, I'm a man of my word. So let's call this dude a Gooper. Go to the Doggo Crate. Stay there. We got some copper. I'm saving all of my survivor diaries too in case developers extend the maximum level in the future. Yes, I think that's the reason why I'm saving them as well. I'll be able to pop those diaries like boop in one second. And we'll get one level probably. From all of those, I'll be able to level up and maybe from level 209 to 210 because it takes a while to level up. Um... I'll get rid of this weapon. I'll drop it here. Uh, get on making shorts, Cyric. Big brain tips as the A. Uh, but yeah, shorts are the new thing, blah, blah, blah. But it's kind of hard to make gaming shorts. Like, I don't watch any gaming shorts myself. So it's kind of hard to know what kind of a good gaming short would be. We need to make three deals with the dealer. Let's recycle three weapons. It's like, when did you reach level 209? Uh, I reached it in in 2021, March 13th, uh, 1 p.m. Oh my God! Like you really know the date? No, I don't know the date. Why would why would I know that date? I I don't know. So why did you ask that question? I have no idea when I reached level 209. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, recycling three weapons. That uh, That's what we're doing. Let's get that. And I'll recycle this weapon. Why not? Let's go. It should work. There go one, two, and three. There we go. Let's keep recycling those titanium fragment suit pieces. Titanium armor suit piece, but we... What, does that mean we'll get titanium armor? Probably not. But wouldn't say no to that. Alright, let's drop it here. That's it. I think we can go for our third raid of the day. And after this raid... We are... Oh, we also need to grab the armor. And yeah, after this raid, I think I'll go back to this. I'll go to the Sector 7. Or maybe we'll do one more raid. I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll go to the Sector 7. Regardless, we are going to the Sector 7. That's what I know. I need that Sector 7. 
Let's get some rope and we need some iron plates. I have 203 survivor notes, 50 uh, valuable survivor diaries. This should give me at least two levels past 209, maybe. So I would be one ahead of you, lol. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get the iron plates and let's craft some armor. And then let's go. Armor. Let's leave the armor here. This goes here. And we are ready. For the raid number three. Will we make another free to play series with this, with the new acts? Says Electrox. I don't know. It's hard to say this, but perhaps, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, for a while now, probably two years in a row, I've been making new free-to-play series every time a new year starts. So maybe I'll do the same thing again, but I can't promise anything, as we never know. Hello, Happy Sarks, says uh, Robert. Welcome to the stream. Robert Allen, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'll craft five normal hatchets. The last raid was kind of decent. I got to know seven out of ten, probably. But not the last, the last raid, but probably a raid before that. It was kind of decent. So I don't expect this raid to be great, but maybe. From my personal experience, you either keep getting bad raids or you keep getting good raids. Like you just go either on a good raid streak or on a good raid spree. Streak? Yes, you got the point. This might be a good raid, actually. Every raid has a chance of being a good raid. Cyrus, the extraction event uh, rocked my world, says Robert Allen. Uh, excuse me? Carla Floor, I don't think I've raided this base in the past. Oh my god, thank you lying! No, I don't think I've rated it. I would be... I'd remember it. But I actually don't think I've rated it. LDE raid Carla Floor. Carla Floor. I haven't rated it because I haven't rated it. I know it. I know it. Wow! Wow! Oh my god, Sayek! Tell me! What is this base? You will... Your mind will be blown. It'll be obliterated into tiny smithereens. Does need to come up with chapter 2 of Act 2 already taking forever, says Ladybug. Maybe. But we got a new avocado pillow coming to the game, so... Why do we need Act 2? Hmm? Just think about it. Turn on your brain for a second. We got an avocado pillow. To those who didn't understand, guys, I'm obviously joking. We need that act too. We don't need that avocado pillow. And there's one dude. So I speak for yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. So hopefully that update's gonna come out soon. The act two update. Now we're gonna explode this wall. It's not a pillow, it's a bag. Is it really a bag? Isn't it a... Oh, that is actually a backpack. That is an avocado backpack. I thought that'll be like a decoration, like a poof. A... How is this thing called, guys? I thought I thought that you sit on it. It's like a... Not like an armchair, but a poof. I don't know how will you call it. You got the point. But I'm pretty certain there's a word for it. I've heard it, I just don't remember it now. So look at this, guys. Two boxes! Look at this raid! 
It is the best raid you've ever ex bean bag. Bean bag is not a bag. It's like a pillow, but not a pillow. Bean bag. Maybe it's a bean bag. Yeah, maybe it is a bean bag. I see what you mean, but at the same time, look at the handle up the top. Does a bean bag has uh, do bean bags have those handles? I don't think so. It's like I think it's gonna be a backpack. Because it has this handle to pick it up. I mean, I've never seen a bean bag. I've never had it, but it looks like it also has a zipper, right? So it's, it might be just a backpack or maybe not. Maybe it's not a zipper. It's not a zipper. It looks like it's just broken. I don't know. Maybe it's a bean bag. Maybe it's not a backpack. In any case, guys, let's open up these chests. Let's open up the chest number uno. And inside of this chest number uno, we're going to get a bandage. Nice. Waited for this bandage since forever. My bean bag has a handle. Maybe that's a bean bag. Yeah, so that's I probably a decoration. I aid kits. Everything because I waited to the last min to try it weary. I lost grenade launchers and aid kits. Everything because I waited to the last minute to try it. Oh, Robert Allen. I get it. You're, you're talking about the extraction event. Okay, cool. I mean, next time you'll be able to do it for cheaper then. By building those turrets and whatever. But yeah, thanks, mate, for the super chat. Welcome to the stream once again, Robert Allen. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's open this up, and we have gotten a steel plate. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this raid. Insane raid. What a great base. I've, I've done great raids in the past, but this raid is the greatest raid ever. The greatest raid in history of last day on Earth. We'll go for the fourth raid and then we'll go there. To the Sector 7. Can't go to Sector 7 like this! Ten out of ten thousand. Says, uh, Party Dragon. Yes, indeed. Ten out of ten thousand. Let's get back to the base. Let's go after such a 10 out of 10 raid. We can't. Uh, we can't get anything better than that. The effort of clearing CCF just for two boxes. Yes, indeed. Let's drop this here. Let's drop the stones. Mm. I don't have space. Okay, now I know how we're going to get some space. I'll just delete both of these hatchets and there we go. Now we have some more space. What we also need to do is pay those raiders. So let's get a, 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 a spear. I just checked if that truck had a electronic circuit. Had an electronic circuit and it did. It has it. Epic. So let's get some common logs. Let's craft one spear at least. And let's give it to them. There we go. Take it. And let's call them on the radio. And let's do raid number four. We're doing these raids like... Poof, 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 poof. Raid number one, raid number two, raid number three. Now we're going to go for raid number four. It's like pizza day today, says Robert Allen. Today's not pizza day. It ain't a pizza day today. Unless, who knows, maybe, but I kind of doubt it. I can, Guys, speaking of food, I got skamazed yesterday. Oh my god, like, tell us that story. I like when someone lies to you. So I went to the store, right? I bought mushrooms, I bought cucumbers, I bought tomatoes, the usual. And then I saw grapes, and I was like, I need to buy those grapes. And I checked, uh, last time I bought the grapes was probably a few weeks ago, but they had seeds. Seeds were bigger than those grapes. So I was like, you know what, this time I'm not stupid, I'll buy seedless grapes. And I saw seedless grapes, I bought seedless grapes, I brought them back home, and they were with seeds. Those grapes had seeds. Those were not seedless grapes. So now I have to eat 
grapes with seeds again. <sighs> I know. That is very sad indeed. We need to open up three green boxes. But I don't think I got three green crates, so we gotta roll with it. We're just gonna do... One green. Let's try to get a few more green real quick. Let's go to the police department. I'll blast through it. Oh my god, I can just skip it. Zip it, mister. We're gonna get green cards. Sad moment. That was indeed sad moment. Top 10 sad and saddest moments. Yes, indeed. I was so happy. You have no idea how happy I was. I came back home. Seeded grapes are the worst. Too much effort with not much fruit reward. I just eat the seeds. But you don't have to chew those seeds. But again, if you don't chew the seeds, it's that bad. Will they need to remove my appendix? I don't know. I don't know. But I got the grapes. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't really eaten that many grapes. Grapes are awesome. Imagine chewing the seeds. I mean, if you're not gonna chew the seeds... You're sometimes you eat the grapes, sometimes you'll chew it by accident, but those seeds are very bitter. I'm going somewhere, guys. I came outside for some sort of a task. Oh, to get uh, two green cards. Let's go there real quick. Never even seen a grape seed. It's like... Let me show you what a grape seed looks like. There we go. Assume this is a grape, right? Let's say grape is gonna be this kind of color. Wait, why? Why? There we go. Let's say this is the grape, right? And uh, the seed would be... It usually has few seeds. There would be like one seed here. Wait, let's actually zoom in for more details. One seed. There would be another seed. And I don't know, maybe more seeds like here-ish. Oh my god, it's like that's, that's how they look like. That's how they look like. Where's the, the bucket? There we go, guys. Those would be seeds. This is a grape. Yeah, totally correct. Totally correct, right? This is- that would be a grape. Grape with seeds. Like, those seeds are massive. I'm, I'm not kidding, guys. Those grapes are massive. <laughs> smash like, smash subscribe for more art lessons with Happy Psych here. Alright, let's go to the police department. Let's open up a few green crates. Those grape seeds are big. And usually there's like three grapes, uh, grape seeds in one of... In each grape. Wrong color. Excuse me, mister. That was paint. It didn't have lots of colors. And how do you know what kind of... Color are my grape seeds? Maybe they were brown like that. Okay, I'm just quickly gonna blast through this place. I just want to find a few green cards. I'm not even gonna start the waves. I'll just cle clear this place. There we go. One green. We need one more green. Another brown. You're such an artist, says uh, Pink Lady. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seeds never get Sykes approval, no. Especially in grapes. Have you seen like that picture where people have been... Not crossbreeding or whatever you call that stuff. I don't even know. Not even modifying, but selectively growing bananas, right? 
Like, Google a wild banana picture. It looks completely different from a current banana that we have. Like, the... You know the current banana seeds that we have? Like, they're very, very small. Wild banana seeds are bigger than the banana itself. The banana... The wild banana is not even a banana. That's not even a fruit. Nobody would eat it. Let's see. Do we have three? No, we still don't have three of them. Right, these zombies are not standing up for some reason. Like, I don't get it. Usually it stands up, but this is not the time. Selective breeding. Maybe you can breed uh, seeds as well. I wasn't uh, sure if it's the right word for seeds for the for fruit, but you can probably breed fruit as well. It's coming here, the full seed banana. I've never seen a full seed banana. I've never seen it. I'd run away screaming if I saw it. There's one more room and hopefully this room's gonna give us a green card. Go on, please, sir. Please, mister. A spread shot. Did you know apple trees can have more than one type of apple variety growing on them? Yeah, you can... Make a hole in the tree and put whatever stick in it and it'll grow things. You can even grow pears on an apple tree. You can grow... I don't even know. I've seen people growing... Other sorts of tomatoes on the certain tomato plant. I don't really know if you can grow... Cucumbers on the tomato plant. But you can definitely crossbreed stuff. I've heard of it and I've seen it. With my own eyes. That is crazy, right? Alright, so I still need one. Oh, we have three green. Hell yeah! Let's open it up. One, two, and three. We got a box with a machete. Let's bring that to the base. We got another box here. An M16. And let's open this up. We've gotten a katana. Very nice opening. Like, those green boxes are very awesome. That's why I always suggest you guys to not exchange those green boxes for blue boxes. Just keep that. You'll get lots of great loot from them. Seriously, those green boxes are the best. Potato with tomato, pomato. Can you even grow tomatoes? Probably not, because... They're like completely, completely different things. Like potato is like, I don't even know, it's maybe like a root vegetable. Is it a root vegetable? It grows underground. How can you grow a potato on a tomato plant? Maybe it works. I have no idea. Maybe. Cross pollinate. Yes, probably that. Epiphany, you are probably right. Cross pollinate. Um, accidentally brought this key back to the base. Whatever, I'll drop it here in the box. We'll open it up later. So yeah, to those that have just joined, we are about to go to Sector 7. But before we do this, we're just, we're gonna do the fourth raid of the day. And then we'll finally venture into the Sector 7. <sighs> I'm even getting shivers thinking about it. But we'll go there. I'll shove my nose there. It's like, what forgotten location are you talking about? As I said, the Sector 7. I just mentioned it. 
So yeah, we just gotta craft the armor, five hatchets, and let's go for it. I just realized live and live are spelled the same, says YouTube Premium. Yes, indeed. What an epic name. All right, let's craft a new armor. Tactical trousers. We got the tactical boots. Uh, then we'll need to craft five iron hatchets. All you'll find in sector seven is tumbleweeds. I like tumbleweeds. My favorite. This and we got one more thing to do is to craft the hatchets. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, this. Mm, this. And let's get some planks and let's get that all. And iron. It's like, is it worth it making machetes? I mean, if you have the resources for it, then yeah, sure. Why not? Can you please craft an assault set of armor? You can't craft it because it's not in the game. <sighs> then a helicopter is like, what about helicopter? Well, helicopter is not in the game either. Then what is in the game? Pain and suffering. That's what we have here. Hopefully that, that answers your question. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I'll definitely answer them. Let's get the, the the things. The common planks. And now let's craft a few more hatchets. And lots of sleepless nights, says Eric Langster. Well... Yeah, as I said, I didn't sleep. I mean, I did sleep anyways, but... I did have to... Not have to, but I did check out that farm update when it came out at 2 a.m. So yes, lots of sleepless nights. All right, we got everything. We got the hatchets. We got the... S we don't have C4s. They're going to be in the inbox. It's like, do they call French fries fries? I don't even... They just call frites. That's it. They're just fries. They don't call them French fries, they're just fries. Just frites. That's what they call them in France. Hell yeah! Let's go for the first raid of the day. Hey, what am I talking about? First raid of the day. Welcome back. Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. This is me, Happy Sire. Player 8129. You know what it smells like? It smells like victory. It's like it smells bullshit. It doesn't smell bullshit. It smells great raid. LDE raid player 8129. If it's a bad raid, I'm uninstalling the game right now live. Uh, wow! Nice raid, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm very excited, very hyped for this raid. As you can see, I've never been more hyped in my entire life. Super hyped for it. So let's go. It smells like goop from here. It says infinity. Maybe. Maybe. 
And everything's possible. Let's drop a C4. Three boxes. Oops, wrong button. Three boxes. Three boxes. Let's go. Let's open up the chest. Uh, the, the wall here. Maybe we'll have more chests here as well. And we got here zero chests. My favorite. My favorite type of base with zero chests. Well, at least this base looks a bit different than other bases, but... I mean, three boxes, three small boxes. What can we get here? A little bit of iron. Nothing here. This base is good because it has grape seeds. Yes, indeed. The most useless thing on earth, grape seeds. That's what this base is going to give us, a bag of grape seeds. Got the electronic circuits. There we go. That's it. That's the raid. I. It does not get Sykes approval. Totally does not get Sykes approval. And speaking of Sykes approval, we're gonna go now to Sector Seven because that place definitely gets my approval. So let's go to the Sector 7, the Crater, or whatever you want to call that place. We are going there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, definitely. Delete the game. I like to you guys. I like to you. Smash like for more lies. For more lies and deception. Let's drop it here. Alright, I'm making some more space just so that I could fit these hatchets. There we go, way better. Let's delete these level 1 hatchets and let's go guys to the Sector 7. I am excited for it. Very excited. Never been more excited in my life. <laughs> to go to the Sector 7. Um, duct tape and gasolinium. There we go, duct tape goes here, and gasoline goes here. There we go, we did it. Let's also pay the raiders. Let's get the common logs. Get that. I just want them to spawn in here. Okay, we need to kill the witch. Another one of the blue crates. This, this. And the five whatever hatchets. So guys, time for us to go to the sector seven. Are you ready to go? To the sector seven because I am not ready, but I'm still going in. I'm still going into sector seven. Ah, my poor eyes ah, says infinity. Don't worry, don't worry yet. It's just the beginning. Let's get that daily gift. Let's open the gift. A stick. Hell yeah. 
I don't even know if I have the gear to participate in that tournament. Oh, maybe we have the gear. I mean, we got this weapon, we got the food. It's been such a long time since I played here. There's the guy. The PvP is gonna be available in one hour. So, hey, even if I wanted to, I can't participate there. The lag is unbearable. Like, I play here, I can feel that there's the, the guys walking weirdly. Maybe I have something in the clan storage for free. Nope. Still same goop. My stuff here. Let's extend it. There we go. We also have some more gears. Wow. Let's get this weapon, MP5K, you know? Let's just blast it. Let's waste it. Let's go. Sorry, don't waste it. I haven't been here for a year. All right, let me wait. Let me blast my weapons. And we got soups. Wow, how do I have all of this loot here? Must have grinded. Uh, that's it. Let's go to one of the zones and let's get ready. Show us your apartment, Cyric. I will probably go and show it. I just need to start the tournament. As we'll have to wait until it begins. To which zones do we go? I don't even remember. And that's how I think... The thing is gonna work, whatever its name is. The minivan, right? I think that's how minivan is gonna work. We'll touch the minivan and we'll be able to choose some other locations. I think that's how minivan is gonna be. I think. I don't know, maybe. So, red forest. That's what we That's what we always clear. Either the red forest or the bauxite thing. But let's go to the red forest now. Let's drive to the red forest, everybody. Hi guys, it's me, Psyrek. Today I'm in Sector 7 to torture, to torture you all. Yes, indeed. That's why we are here. Oh no, Ashy Spitters. I really don't remember any tips and tricks here. Look at me, I'm about to die. Let's heal up with the soups. The soups and meat. Let's get the mushrooms. Am I gonna get invited in the tournament? There you go, you've been invited to the tournament. Let's accept it. The tournament started! Holy moly! Were they just waiting for me? I thought I'll get back to the base and do something, but... Whatever, apparently the tournament is here. Wow, let's have a blast, guys! Actually, I don't mind doing it. Like, as I said, tournaments are pretty fun here. And before somebody says that, hey, this is an efficient way to play it. Yes, guys, I have no idea how to play in the crater. I don't play here. Alright, let's go through here-ish. There we go, there's the guy. There is the schmuck. Let's get him. Let's get our good old Ashy Bloater. There we go, 240 of those points. Oh my gosh, the new update looks awesome, says the A. Yes, indeed, it does look awesome. What happens if you die here? You lose everything. I don't think we'll get anything else here. Let's just leave this thing and let's go to another zone. There we go, let's just go to another zone now. When the tournaments come back, they were always here. Tournaments never left. Tournaments were always here. We just kind of never played there. But I think it's relatively fun. Uh, let's go back here. So yeah, for those who didn't know what I'm doing is basically I'm searching for golden zombies and that's it. And once I find a golden zombie, I kill it. And I get points. There we 
That's kind of the Sector 7. All right, getting a little bit of radiation here for some reason. There is an oozer. Oh, yeah, totally. I remember. We need to find golden oozers as well. Why on earth am I losing health here? Oh, my goodness. All of them. I'm just going to leave this place. I'm just going to leave it. That's it. They gathered. They started attacking. That's it. You're going to die from them. The whole point is that... Sector 7 is designed not for solo, it's designed for... to play with your... F with your clan mates. Let's go to the Voxite Quarry. You are so pro. Yes, indeed, super pro here. Like, extreme pro. <laughs> In Sector 7. Alright, let's avoid this. So where is at least a single golden I mean, Look at that, everything is just so horrible. All right, there is a golden zombie there. So let's try to somehow, some way, lure it. There we go, there's an ashy runner. There we go, we got an Ashy Runner. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ashy Spitter attacked me out of nowhere. I could use perhaps a crossbow to do some crit damage to this guy, but whatever, this gun will suffice. There we go, we did it. It's like, any tips for the crater? I literally have no tips for the crater. The only tip I have to say about the crater, don't play here. <laughs> That's the only tip I have to give you. Because it's not really that great. I mean, I need to deal with this zombie to go further. Got him, let's heal up. And maybe there we'll get another golden zombie, a golden oozer, perhaps. Doesn't really look like it, though. Oh no, both of those ashy spitters have attacked me. Uh, there was a zombie here. Let's heal up now real quick, just so that we can deal with another golden zombie. Got him, got him, got him, got him. We are alive. Oh no, both of them are gonna attack me now. There we go, got both of them, plus we've gotten some more points. And that is it, I don't think we'll get a third zombie. Let's go, let's leave this place. Sheesh. Why, well, many minerals there. Yes, indeed, so many minerals, like... So many minerals. A lot of minerals. But like, what can you do with those? Nothing with those minerals. You can do nothing with them. <laughs> They're useless. As the entire Sector 7. It's like, why don't you play Creator 7 mode that much? Because it's very... It's bad. I don't even want to use this gun. It's not even that good like MP5 here in the crater. Like this, this sniper rifle that I have is a bit better for the tournament. So will we get the first spot? I don't know. All right, I'll maybe run away from that guy. It'll just escape. Now I can just deal with this Ashy Runner. 
Uh, that chopper doesn't need fuel, right? It doesn't need fuel, but it needs energy. The chopper costs energy to travel. All right, how about I get this gun, aka the crossbow. I've done some crit damage, and now this guy can run away. Look at this. Except I'm not fast enough. If you de-aggro this guy again, you can do another shot with the crossbow and damage it again. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. There we go. I got some more points. Let's get another one of these weapons. Don't really want to use it, but... What can I do? You know what? After not being here for probably a year... It's kind of fun to be here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's it. No fun, no fun. Let's leave this place <laughs> while we are still alive. Wait, well, I have a second or two. Let's quickly maybe get back to our crate. And let's see if I have any more sniper rifles that, uh, as I'd rather use that than this gun here. Broken, broken sniper rifle and a shotgun. Well, let's use this then. There we go. What emulator do you use? I use Mimo Player. But all the emulators are basically the same. You can use whatever one. Um, I'll just deal with this guy real quick. Look at this gun. It's not that... It's alright, but the sniper rifle I prefer it more. Alright, I see a golden zombie there. I need to find a way on how to get to it. I'll deal perhaps with this guy. For that, I'll get a melee weapon. I'll slice this dude. Please tell me that. That's not a golden oozer. Golden oozer would be bigger. Oh, no. That is a golden oozer. That is actually a flipping golden oozer. Let's get this. The more food. We could use the cr crossbow to get crit damage, but... Heal up here. There we go. Let's deal with this guy. There we go. 320 points, baby. 320 points. We are first on the leaderboard. And maybe there will be one more zombie as well. Another golden oozer. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Well, time for us to leave this place and let's go to another one. Let's go to another zone. Except this armor is about to break, so I don't really trust it. Did they nerf those golden zombies? I used to find three golden zombies in red locations. I have no idea. Sometimes you get more than one. Sometimes you get less. Well, we still have a little bit of durability in this armor, so I'll use it for now. But then we'll see. We got lucky. Another, perhaps, oozer. Yes. Hell yeah, that's an oozer! Look at it! Let's eat this. Now let's get the poor schmuck. There you go. Got 320 more points. That is insane value. So I got pretty lucky with those golden oozers. Shouldn't be going here. 
what's weird is that you don't really play the game looking at the at the thing. You just look at the mini map here. You don't look at what's going on in front of you because you don't have the time to look at it. You just look at the at the mini map. So that's kind of weird. Like this entire sector seven feels like mini map here. It's like one mini map. I can't go through these guys. Unless I can go through here, yes indeed. Oh my god, they all saw me. They all saw me. I just wanted to go peacefully there to that side. Let's heal up real quick. And were there any golden zombies? I mean, I don't think I would have found any golden zombies either. I mean, we went through this entire place and there was zero golden zombies. Yikes. Yikes. Let's go to the bauxite quarry again. It looks like we're getting more golden oozers in bauxite quarry. Not only golden golden oozers, but other zombies as well. Other golden zombies. All in the sand quarry, bauxite quarry. Because that other place doesn't give us much. Weird. Armor. Oh yeah, this armor is about to break. After this one, we are changing our armor. We'll change our armor. Let's get the crossbow. So yeah, the crossbow does crit damage. It does 60 something damage with it. Okay, I thought I can run and maybe run away from this guy. That didn't kind of work. Okay, let's avoid this jump. This jump could have been even bigger. Like the radius is too small. Obviously, I'm joking. I think the radius is too big, especially when there's lag in the game. That radius is so huge that you're not going to escape it. There's one more. Two more golden zombies! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That'll be a little problematic, won't it? I'll need to clear these sides first. But my armor will get shredded. I'm going to heal out with the soap. Yeah, the armor will disappear. The armor will be gone. But there are two of those golden oozers. And I don't think we got any armor here in the inbox. Obviously. Equipment zero. We just got a mask. Just got a silly mask. Okay, let's try to take it carefully. Let's try to take our time. There's a golden oozer. Oh my goodness, all of them are gonna attack me now. But well, let's start healing out with all of that food. We gotta heal up again. More meat food. And there we go, we did it! Plus armor is gone! We just got our paints! Do you it. remember the feeling of completing the ATV? I'll have the same feeling soon. On the way with the last gas tank from B now laughing face, 4.5 years. Hey, Lars Rabin, thanks for the super chat and congrats on your ATV. I mean, you still need one more uh, gas cylinder, but hey, good luck with getting it. I'm sure you'll get it. And yeah, assembling ATV felt pretty cool. It felt pretty cool, lots of effort went into it. So hey, good luck with your ATV. Good luck with it. And guys, I don't think I'll be able to get this thing. See you, Lars Rabin. Congrats on, congrats on your future ATV. Your future might be bright, but our future here isn't going to be so bright because... Uh, yeah, there's that golden zombie and I won't be able to get it. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we will be able to get it. Oh, no, I won't be able to get it. I got to leave this place. Unless I kill it fast enough before I pee myself. There we go. We did it. We did it. We got three golden zombies here. That's epic. That is actually epic.
Oh, on the way with the last gas tank from Bravo now. Oh, I thought you meant like you're going to Bravo to get it. I see now. So that's it. You basically already have the ATV. Congrats on your ATV then. Congrats on assembling your ATV. Very epic. Just click that finalize button and ride the ATV. We got two more minutes left and we got 2,500 points. I don't think we even need to do anything else here. They're not going to overtake us. Let's go to the personal storage. Let's equip some sort of armor. Oh, wait, the armor gets sorted out? It was messy. Now it got sorted out again. I mean, let's equip it. And let's now... Where's the thing? Why well, can't go home? Where's my apartment? I don't remember how does one go to the apartment. This is, uh, this is our apartment. Let's enter it. Forty-two likes. Wow! Smash like. We got this awesome bed. We can chillax in it. We also have this chair. I can't even sit on it. And we got this epic bath. That's it. That's literally our apartment. I have this epic cactus as a pet. That's it. Doesn't even allow me to leave it. We gotta... I don't even know how does one leave it. Okay, we gotta click this button here to leave it then. Now I can quit the game, says Lars. Yes, indeed, after assembling the ATV, you can quit the game. Of course. So yeah, we got some points. 2,500 points almost. 26 almost. So, guys, what do you think of these tournaments? I think they're kind of fun. If they were a bit better, more smooth, maybe... I don't even know what. Maybe they'd be better. Okay, what can we buy? We got a few of those. We got 120k of that stuff. Of those coupons. So, what can we buy? We can buy either this tiny table. Or... This thing, whatever that is. I don't even know. It's like a chair, like a maze thing. I have no idea. And hey guys, tournament is over. We got the first place. We got the three boxes and 8,000 coupons. Let's open up these boxes. Let's see the goods that we're going to get here. See, so yeah, that's sector seven. Ladies and gentlemen, that is sector seven. Um, Seeker's Equipment. Let's see what we can get from the Seeker's Equipment. Wow. Bandages. And another thing. Wow, epic. So let's try to sell that stuff. Huh? Let's try to sell it for the lowest price possible. This. This. And this oak handle, why not? This No one's gonna buy it anyways. Nobody buys stuff here. We can even drop these things as well for the... For the low price. Maybe those sterile bandages are good. Whatever, I'll keep them with me. So let's get that all from this place. I like them, it's been a while, but watching you do one, I want to do tournaments now. Says Pink Lady. Yeah, I agree. I mean, tournaments are kind of fun. I just wish that maybe I were a bit different than I'd be able to participate in them way more often. It's just that they're not really cheap to do. Like, we had to have these guns to participate in them. And from the tournament, we've I've cleared the tournament. I've got nothing back from it. You know what I mean? I've just gotten, like, what, those 8,000 coupons that there's nothing I can do with them? And uh, I got 10 sterile bandages. That's it. Like, it's kind of... Mm. WD says, upgrade your apartment. I don't play there. So we're not upgrading the apartment. The price to upgrade the apartment is ridiculous. But we know what's not ridiculous? Speed cubing. Because at the end of the live stream, we always do a little bit of speed cubing. Speed cube timer. 
So yeah, that was the Sector 7, the most forgotten place in the game. <laughs> and it's been a while since I went there. But yeah, now. Let's do a little bit of speed cubing. This is always my personal best here was 28 seconds, 28.68 seconds. And uh, yeah. My average is about like 50 seconds. So I'll be happy if we get 45. That's it, that should be enough warm up. And now let's go. Is your clan recruiting? No, the clan is not recruiting. Nobody's in the clan there. I don't think no one even plays Last on Earth there in the clan besides me. Maybe Star Snipe also plays. But yeah, there's nobody in the clan basically. Nobody's in Sector 7, so the clan is pointless. <sighs> All right, let's do some more random spins. Did you know you can transfer Android data to iOS? Says Yel. Yes, with the Kefir ID, now you can do that. Go to the settings, click Kefir ID thing, register there, and you'll be able to play on your Android, on your iOS, and whatever accounts. All right, that's enough of spinning. Now, let's do a little bit of inspection. And uh, let's go for it. Am I ready for it? I have no idea. That's it, I'm ready. It'll be a bit tricky. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, boom. Forty-six seconds. As I said, around forty-five seconds, and I'll be happy. Pretty nice. With almost no warm-up, I'd say that's a pretty nice thing. It was a bit tricky solve here, and I'm happy that I didn't mess it up. So you know, with forty-six seconds, I am pretty happy with this solve. Pretty happy. All right, let's do one more, and then we can skid it all. This, 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 down, up, front, right, and up. That's it. Do the pyramid cube. I don't have the pyramid cube and I don't know how to solve it. Wait one second, peeps. We need to do this. There we go. Let's do more random spins and let's go for it. So, all right, this is going to be another tricky beginning. All right, I see what we'll do. Where is it? Let's go for it. Three, two, one.
seven seconds. Hell yeah, we did it. Got a bit lucky-ish, maybe-ish. I don't know. It was kind of fast, but we got 37 seconds. Kind of epic, ladies and gentlemen. Another great solve. And our average of 100 just went down from 49 to 48.8 seconds. That is kind of epic. I just hurt my kneecap. Damn it. Ah, it hurts! So guys, we'll be wrapping up this live stream on such a note where I hurt my kneecap on the table. Hit it in the corner. I hit it on the corner, now it hurts. So take care guys. Where is science? Says exceptional thinker. The, the raw science is coming out soon tomorrow probably. There's another uh, grounded video, so yeah. There will be more science tomorrow, guys. If you haven't started watching grounded videos yet, then what are you doing? Make sure to check it out. So yeah, thanks everybody for being here. I think soon we will also start a new Let's Play here. We're gonna play Resident Evil 2 as Claire. We'll beat Resident Evil 2 Remake Claire's part, as I still haven't beaten that. And it's Spooktober, so we gotta play a horror game. So we'll play that. I'm very excited for it. I'm excited to continue Grounded. And yeah. And yesterday I've released a new video of The Infected. So there is that. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing Mega Friday, as Matthew Spellman says. Yeah, have an amazing guy Saturday. Take care, everyone. And see you next time. See you tomorrow, everyone. Take care. Take care, everybody. See you later. Take care.